That should work. All right, so here's that video as promised. Uh, my plan today is to, instead of working on the bottle rope, uh, I do have I do have a plan to get that done, uh, but I'd like to do a little bit more planning and decide what I want to do with it as well. So that video is coming real soon. I also, but for today, I just went down to the big box store and picked up some two inch, I think these are 90 degree, jeez, uh, what were they called? They were called something. These, these things. Does it say on the label? Does it say somewhere? They're 90 degree, they're two inch, and they have a female and a male end. And they're kind of long, too, so they're not just like a straight 90. They're, they're, uh, I think these are specifically made for like uh, plumbing stuff, or like sewage waste stuff. So they're, they're pretty thick walled, too. So I think they're going to work really well for what I'm going to do with them, and I'll tell you what I'm going to do with them here in a minute. Today we're going to be working on a way, recently I came up with an idea to turn these buckets uh, from an indoor hydroponic system to an outdoor hydroponic system. I am running, I think, about 100 watts per ballast uh, nearly 12 hours a day and I have three ballasts running. So, And I'm not seeing the growth increase that I'd like to. If, if I was seeing amazing results out of all of them, I mean I'm seeing really good results. But if I was seeing superb uh, results from all these systems, all this, um, all my ballasts and stuff, then I would I wouldn't have an issue with it. But I'm also wanting to appeal to people who don't want to run their electric bill up or would like to do something a little bit more natural, uh, but kind of incorporate some new technology and to see some better results. So I've decided. Well, the sun's free, <laughs> and we've been using it for you know ever. So what I decided to do was just leave the buckets the way they are and instead of drilling like leaving the lids the way they are and instead of drilling through the top of the lid uh, I decided to drill on the side. I saw a few posts that suggested just burying the bucket and then cutting a hole in the top and then just dropping it down in there uh, like that and that's that would be great except for you're gonna be having issues when it rains a lot and it does rain a lot here uh, so you'll have a lot of issues with uh, rain getting on top of the bucket and the bucket lids are always dented in so they're just going to trap the water and feed it directly down into your into your system unless you can find a way to keep the the hole above the bucket which would be a good idea as well um, but of the lid uh, of the lip of the bucket that would be that would be a good idea but I was I was thinking why not solve that issue altogether uh, why not prevent any rain from getting in even the stuff that's running down the leaves into the plant down into the water and allowing bacteria to make its way into the bucket you know uh, algae and whatever can make it into the bucket that way but instead of doing that we're just gonna try I'm gonna I've tried and it actually works pretty well and I've showed it on the last video you saw it actually working on that uh, plant that I had growing there but I decided to cut a hole in the side of the bucket and that would keep any rain or at least 99% of the rain from getting in so uh, and but that also came up with a problem so what do I do do I grow plants and then just like transplant them into there and make them grow sideways because they are gonna have to grow up sideways out of the bucket kind of like a mushroom would when they like to grow uh, off the side of uh, tree stumps or whatever and plants will grow that way but it's harder to get them when they're a larger plant and transplant them into this system. So what I decided to do was uh, come up with a way to start seedlings out uh, horizontally so they can grow that way. They can also drop their uh, roots properly instead of all the roots being centered here and then straight down. They'll bunch here and then grow out the side. They'll tend to grow more on the bottom and they'll be more supported for what they need to do for the horizontal lifestyle they're going to be they're going to be uh, converted to so but instead of converting we're just going to grow them that way and we're going to see how that works and I think it'll be less stress on them so I've got my 90 degree 2 inch couplings I took I think these are like one and a half or mm, they may be called a 2 inch net but my original plan when I found this at Home Depot 
was to just place it here and then have it come out the side and then just like put some like sealer around that uh, just to hold it in place and just run that out of the side of the bucket maybe just flush just a little bit and, and then seal that inside the bucket but um, I think the easier way to do it is just to set the net cup down and recess it down inside and it actually has a really nice fit it kind of it kind of slants a little bit yeah you can see it's closer to the lip here further away up here so it does kind of slant uh, down a little bit so I think that'll help uh, hold it in place a little better so what I'm thinking about doing is just running some like some adhesive or some kind of maybe maybe like a silicone sealer around there and then just put it down in there and maybe a little bit more to tack it in just so it doesn't fall out doesn't have any issues moving it and then grow the plant this way bring the water up to like right here and then just um, grow it that way and then just grow it that way the roots will just fall right down that way so and that would be really easy just pop it off and I've got some couplings here these little couplings will just convert it <clears throat> so that'll be just super easy to pop off take the coupling off maybe not so tight but yeah just pop the coupling off take it out of the water and then just drop it down inside here and then just have this whole thing sit sit out about that much outside of the bucket so it'll be like it'll be like that it's gonna look kind of alien it's gonna look kind of weird but I think that's gonna solve all of my issues and this it may actually protect the roots from sunlight and stuff I don't know if that's a really big deal but I mean they have developed to grow in soil what light does not get so we're kind of we're kind of replicating their natural you know their natural habits I have to widen this ring to accommodate these new fittings uh, it's almost there we just gotta go a little bigger and uh, I'll tell you which fitting I'm going to use and we're going to cut right back to that. Just a traditional pocket knife and we're going to try just shaving it down to where it fits. But yeah, it's just super, it's super easy. I just wanted to take the, the I guess I wanted to make it difficult. We'll just go around the whole perimeter of it and just shave it off until it fits. So here it is. The I'm just gonna drop everything. But yeah, the the bucket you can see it just it sits right inside there really nicely, and I'm hoping that's gonna work really well. The roots will just drop down just like normal, uh, and hopefully hopefully we won't have any issues with. Well, no, the roots will be just fine. I think we'll be able to keep it uh, pretty good right there. Yeah, so. It drops down a little bit more than I'd like. Maybe, maybe if this part wasn't so long, the neck part wasn't wasn't so long. Maybe it'd be better. But I don't think a, a, just a straight 90 would work as well. So, so my plan is to just take some silicone and silicone all this in there. Imagine if when the plant grows up and out of this of this neck. The roots may be hanging down just a little bit. They're not going to be very old. These plants shouldn't be very tall. Uh, just baby, just little seedlings mostly. And uh, so the roots won't be hanging down too much at all there. So at this, at that point, it's time to, my plan is, is uh, to just drop them down in just like that. And of course, this will be a little bit smoother of an action so we're not damaging the plants in any way. But then take that, drop a little bit of silicone. Uh, I just I have some of this just laying around the house. Supreme paintable silicone. Uh, it says 30 minutes water ready, uh, 10 year mold free protection. It's kind of the stuff you would use in like a bathroom. So it should be really good uh, to keep to keep this going. And really, it's just there to seal it from water 
and maybe whatever water that could get there and uh, just to kind of glue it in place. So, and then we'll use it around the neck cup as well. And then that is it. Uh, and then it's ready just to fill it with water up to uh, about halfway to the roots. So at the point where we would put these in there, I would think it would be just to the bottom of this uh, cup assembly. So, so yeah, that's all for these uh, buckets and I will, I will actually start some new seedlings tonight. So in a few weeks, we'll be able to test this system out and see how it works. Am I the only one that hates doing outros to videos? Tomorrow I have a plan to get these guys started, uh, get you guys set up, as well as get me set up for uh, getting these guys, or getting the plants started indoors in this new horizontal system I got going. So I'm really excited to get this going tomorrow. I'll make the video tonight and I'll get that uploaded tomorrow as well. So I hope you guys stay tuned. So if you're really interested in this project or just any project that I'm going to do uh, in the future uh, and you just want to keep up with me and you just, you just want to hang out with me, you know, because I'm a cool guy, you know, whatever, uh, then uh, just hit the subscribe button, share it with your friends. I would love that. That'd be amazing. Uh, and, you know, we'll just keep progressing. We'll, we'll grow as a community too. I think this is a community project just as much as it's just me sitting here. So. Alright, so uh, I hope you guys have a great day, and um, I'll see you next time.